Fields don't see it. If he sees it, he'll throw us out. He can't do that. We have a lease. The worst he can do is uh, raise our rent. No, oh, we don't have to wait for that. He said if we don't raise the rent by Tuesday, out, we go go by Sam. <laughs> Will you stop worrying? Look, change the sign to the outside so people know we're in business. Okay. I'll go get our things together. We make it a job. You, you can't tell. Well, don't look at me. Change the sign. All right, all right. <laughs> good for moths. Oh, why don't you give him vitamin B? <laughs> no, I want to poison him. You want to poison him? Sure. You'll make him sick. This is what I want to do. I want to kill him. Well, kill those poor little things. That's cruelty. But they're nothing but pests. You know, once I found a moth in my best suit, I had to poison him. You did? Sure. How about your brother-in-law? He was in your best suit. You didn't poison him. Yeah. That's food for thought. Hey, that gives me an idea. <laughs> hey, have it! Uh oh. <laughs> Stella, as exterminators. I'll be the exterminator. I'll exterminate those two pests. Yes, yes, yes. This will be Alton Costello Exterminating Company. You're choking me! Huh? Will you shut up? No, 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 not you. Come here. You gotta help me out of bed. You're choking me! I think my collar's too tight. That's what it is. Get me up out of here! Mike the cop. What do you say? Oh, good, all set, eh? Yeah. You sure you didn't forget anything? Not a thing. Uh, by the way, where'd you park the car? It's not outside. Oh, it's in the shop. In a, what is it doing in the shop? It repaired. Repaired? I blew out six tires. How come six tires? There was two spares. I, fine, how do you do? How do you expect us to get to work now? What? Now that we've got a job. Let's walk. Well, Walk. I should say not. Give me that $20 bill you're holding for me. Uh-uh. I, I ain't got the 20 no more. What do you mean you've not? I, I hocked your $20. You hocked my $20 bill? Yeah. For how much? $15. How come? You could have used the $20. I didn't need the 20 All I needed was 15 so I hocked the 15 for the 20 <laughs> Now we've got a job and can't even get there. I got something to return. I got a ticket, ain't I? Uh, wait a minute. Here comes Mike's boss, the sergeant. Hello, Sarge. Hi, oh, Sarge. Hi. Hey. You got any money? I always have money, but don't get any ideas. Oh, no, wait a minute, Sarge. This is strictly a business deal. 
How would you like to buy a pawn ticket? A pawn ticket for what? For a $20 bill. Who are you kidding? Oh, sure, here you are. $20 bill. I'll sell it to you for $15. Something fishy about this. Why should you sell me a pawn ticket on a $20 bill for $15? Because, because we, we like, like you. You aren't for any chance trying to bribe me, are you? Oh, all right, forget about it. All right, all right, all right, it's a deal. Here's your $15. There's your pawn ticket. So long, suckers. He's calling us suckers. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Hey, we're suckers? I think he's right. We are suckers. Wait a minute. What did you bore me out for? What you bore you... me out because I took your $20 ticket. What, and get, I... what did you get for the $20? When I bought the $20, I got $15, and you bore me out. You said what did he bag? just give me? $15. $15, $15 and $15 is what? Uh-oh. $15 and $15? That's, um... $30. Have... Yeah. Uh, sure. Hey, have it. We made, um... We made, uh... uh $10. Oh. Let's go! <laughs> I'm glad we got this job. We'll make some money now. I hope so. Hey, Abbott, wait a minute. Hold it. No, watch. Get this, a slot machine. Right up my alley. What are you going to do? What am I going to do? I'm going to play it. You're going to play this thing? Yeah, I got some money. How much have you got? I, I got a couple of pennies. You've got no sense at all. I got two cents. I'm going to use There's one. There's a machine that's smarter than you are. You want to bet? Go ahead. Watch this. I play all these kind of things. Yes, you play them. Don't tilt it. Don't play I'm it. not touching it. it. No. See, it takes brains to play these things. I usually hit on the first time. Squander your money. Go ahead. You don't care no, where I'm going to hit the jackpot. You're going to hit it. Hey, now what's wrong? See? It's out swatting you. These things are gyps. You see, I already put two pennies in, then it gets stuck. I don't get stuck on the first one. Let's it's got to get stuck on the second one. Out swatting you. Come on. Don't break. Don't break. Don't break. Don't break. Hey, Abbott. I hit the... <laughs> you got to <laughs> Mm. <laughs> what do you try to do? Bribe a cop? Get your stuff and get out of here. Sorry, officer. Sorry. Doctor's out. Nobody in. No, uh, you don't understand. We're the exterminators. They call us up to take care of the termites. Yes. You see, we take care of the termites, and the termites take care of us. Well, I'm not supposed to let you in. How long are you going to be? Well, it's up to the termites. We, uh, we can't tell. They have to be all over the place. That's true. You see, it's all according to wood. These termites get in the wood, and you don't look good yourself. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. Look at this wood over here. Now, no termites have hit this wood. You can't I tell. can tell because I went to school to learn about the termites. <laughs> Hey, Abbott, uh, this joint is loaded with termites. Let's get to work. Let's get around here. Yeah. They know what they were doing when they said they call us up. Come on. Oh, well. Say, this doctor has a swell office. Mm -mm. It's a shame it's infested with termites. Well, you look around here, and I'll go in this next room and look around. Okay, Abbott. Hey, doctor, it's pretty good. <laughs> Doctor. I should have been a doctor instead of what I'm doing. Should have went to school for another six, seven months. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a specialist? Of course. Come in. <laughs> oh. Oh. I have oh. a specialist in my life. Oh, if you're a specialist, Mister, you got to do something for me. I'm having a terrible time with the willies. With the what? The willies, you know, the heebie-jeebies. The heebie-jeebies? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I heard of a lot of things when I was going to school to learn about uh, my business to be a specialist. I never heard from the heebie-jeebies. I heard from the ants and the termites and butterflies. Yes, that's it, that's it. Butterflies. I got them in my stomach. You know, I'm sorry, I don't think I got a thing big enough to put down there and... Uh, to, to, to <laughs> oh, you know what? I don't have a terrible time. That's when the elephants come. Big purple ones with pink polka dots. Oh, <laughs> oh boy, I tell you, fellow. Oh, gee, they're awful. You know, they parade across the room, up and down the walls, even on the ceiling. And then what do you think happens? 
Oh, brother, then, then they crawl into bed with me. Uh, pink elephants with the polka dots crawled in bed with you? Yes. Did you spray them? No, no, I, I never used anything but a chase. But this you won't believe. Then comes the bats, millions of them. They swoop into my room and zoom all around me. I'm going to lock them up. <laughs> Where do you think those bats are right now? In your belfry. Yeah. <laughs> in a good, good old thing right now. <laughs> Listen, and then a Newfoundland dog came over the hills and approached me. I thought I was safe, but when I looked at his neck, what did I see? Oh. I don't know. What did you see? Kangaroos? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Beneath his neck, he wasn't carrying a barrel. Think of it. No barrel. No barrel. <laughs> and me dying for a drink. Oh, do something for me. <laughs> Hey, Abbott, you got this man all nerved up. I got him nerved up. Listen to this. Listen, you believe in elephants? Have we got any stuff for elephants? Have we got any stuff for kangaroos? You got the man all Talk to the man. Talk to the man. I'll talk. What's the trouble, my dear friend? Oh, I'll tell you, mister. I'll tell you anything. It's all right. Talk to the man. Keep quiet. You got him all nerved up. This is what made me suspicious. Calm down. Last night as I lay on my pillow, a herd of buffaloes came into my room. They were riding on the back of a school of whales. <laughs> Get out of here, you bum. <laughs> Thanks a lot, boys. I, I feel a whole lot better. <laughs> Uh, why do you tolerate those kind of guys? Did you find any uh, termites? Hey, wait a minute. Let me get in the light. Get in the light over what's here. What's the matter? The light. You don't look so good yourself, Abby. Well, what's wrong? Just hold it there, kid. Let me see something. Stick out your tongue. Uh-huh. You better not smoke anymore, brother. Why not? Smoke tongue. Oh! Go on, look for termites. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, okay. Oh! There's a hot bit of termites. I'm going to... Well, you want to wake up the dead? Oh, shh, shh, shh. Not so loud, not so loud. Inside. What's inside? Somebody in there with no clothes on. Whether it's man or woman? I don't know. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's only a skeleton. The termites beat us to it. It's a model made of plastic. Model of plastic? Will you stop this playing around and look for those termites? Yes, sir. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, Abbott! I hear one! It's a big one! I think it's wearing high heels! <laughs> Termites! How do you do? How do you do? May I talk to you? How do you sneak in here? You want to talk to me? Yes. Well, make a snappy, kid. I'm busy. Well, my sister recommended you. She said that you were one of the finest. Well, your sister's right. I am one of the finest in my line. I'm a specialist. You are? Why, certainly. What can I do for you? Well, I... <laughs> <laughs> I need a little advice. Well, <laughs> come on, sit over here. I'll talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, over here. Yeah, yeah. Sit right down there. Now, young lady, just tell me what... You don't understand. You must be more quiet in my condition. What's wrong? Well, you see, I'm so very happy, and of course, John is very happy. Oh, Abbott's going to be very proud of this job. What's the address? Well, What's the address? 6933 Oakhurst. 6933 Oakhurst? Yes. Good. Good. John is so happy. I guess I've made him the happiest man in the world. Well, I think we're going to do a good job. I think John's going to be happy. I think you'll be happy, too, because we've got all the equipment and everything else. Certainly. Well, there are a few things I have to talk to you about. It's 
Well, it's this appetite of mine. I just can't understand it. Now, early in the morning yesterday, I wanted pickles and strawberries. <laughs> Later in the afternoon, I wanted ice cream smothered with anchovy. <laughs> bad, but John just didn't understand when I wanted that catsup on the ice cream later at night. Of course, <laughs> if you think it would be better, I could always have the strawberries and the pick pickles later in the afternoon, and then early in the morning, I could have raw egg. <laughs> Can't you just taste those raw eggs and that warm milk going down? Oh, it's wonderful. But then I could change and have that peanut butter and chili. <laughs> oh, what did I say that upset him? Lou. <laughs> Lou. No. No. Oh, come on, get up. I told you to look for termites, and here you're sleeping. Always sleeping on the job. That's all you ever do. Hey, yeah, Evan. How do you expect to earn money? I feel exactly like you feel. What do you mean? You know when you had that indigestion stuff? So what? I had the same thing about body eating. I feel awful. What are you talking about? This doctor's office. I've got to get an examination. Ah, <laughs> ah! Just as I thought. Listen. Go ahead, listen. What? Right up there. No, up here! Up here! Oh, stop it. That's a telephone. <laughs> My heart's going off. I don't want an answer. <laughs> Answer the phone. Maybe it ain't for us. I told the landlord in case we had any telephone call to transfer him to this office. Now answer it. Might be another job. <laughs> Hello. Is this Main 22212? No. This is Main 22212. It's a doctor's office. Oh, yes. Yes, that's what I want. This is Mrs. Milo Featherton. I was told to call there at... Oh, just a moment, please. Yes, what is it, Carson? It's your Aunt Sophie and your Aunt Sarah, madam. They're at it again. Oh, dear. Uh, excuse me. Will you hold the wire a minute, please? Yes, ma'am. What are you doing? She told me to hold the wire. Oh. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. Come on, put your hands up, you yellow belly critter. Or I'll let daylight through you. Bang! Come and get me, you on side winder. <laughs> bang, bang, bang! You can't shoot at me. You're dead. I got you that time. You did nothing of the sort. You missed me. You shot that boulder right over my head there. I did not. I shot you fair and square. You didn't. I did. You did well, not. Well, let me tell you that... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I left the doctor waiting on the telephone. I'll ask him to come here immediately. Uh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I'm so sorry to have kept you waiting, but something terrible has happened. It's my aunt. Oh, it's another job. Good. Uh, what about your aunt, lady? Well, I'm very terribly serious. They seem to have got completely out of control. Uh oh, 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 you don't have to worry about that, because the answer are specially. We'll decontrol them for you. This woman's having trouble with her aunt. We're going to have to make it. You know where to make it? 623. Put down there. 623. 623. 623. What street? Yeah. What's the street? That's the name of the street. Huh? What's the name of the street you live on? Will you tell me the name of the street, lady? What street? I can't get headway out of it. Look, I got 623. Now, please tell me, what's the name of the street? That's right. That's right. What's right? I don't know. I'm asking what. Wait, hold on. Find out what's Wait a minute. Wait. Here, you mark it down. Uh, pardon me, lady. <laughs> He's a little dumb. He don't understand these things. 624. Uh, where do you live, lady? Huh? Well, that's what I'm asking you. What street? That's the name of the street I live on. Mm -hmm. That's the name of the street. What's the name? Oh, what? What? That's what I'm asking you. What? <laughs> Look, lady, we got as far as 623. Now, will you please tell us the name of the street? I know! <laughs> Look, excuse me, lady. I didn't mean to yell at you. Will you tell me the name of the boulevard that's close to that street? I don't know. You don't know? 
Huh? She don't know the name of the boulevard. There oh, must be oh, a name to the this boulevard. This one must be a Lulu. There must be a name. There's got to be a name. You got a boulevard or some avenue or something right near there? Give me anything you got there. Ask her what is the name of the boulevard. The boulevard. What is the name of the boulevard? You don't know. She don't know. Ask her what is the name. I'd like... What is the name of the boulevard? Uh, what is the name of the street? That's the street. I'm not asking you about the street. Give me the boulevard near the street. You don't know. How do you expect me to know? She don't know the boulevard. Uh, pardon me. Yes, uh, uh, pardon me, lady. Uh, what is the name of the street? Oh, that's right. Oh, th that's the name. What's the name? That's right. <laughs> Come on. Hey, can you speak straight now? Certainly. You know what street she's on? Certainly I do. Well, what's the name of the street? That's right. Come on, let's go. <laughs> How do you do? Is uh, Miss uh, Featherton in? We're here to take care of her aunts. Oh, how do you do? How do you Won't do? you come in, please? Thank you. If I may say so, aren't they rather odd-appearing doctors? Well, now that you mention Carson, they are indeed. Oh, but, of course, they're psychiatrists. And Mrs. Maxwell recommended them very highly. Yes, madam. Oh, before you go in, uh, perhaps it would be helpful if I tell you something about my aunts. Yes. Are they the kind that eats uh, sugar and grease? Oh, they eat most anything. Huh? Of course, they dearly love candy. Uh, how long have you had them? Well, we've had them with us about uh, 20 years now. Of course, they weren't bothersome until just recently. You mean you had the ants in the house for 20 years, and all of a sudden right now you want to do something about it? Well, we grew to be quite fond of them. As I said, not until lately were they any trouble at all. Are they all over the house? Well, yes, they go in and out, but mostly they stay in their own room. The you mean you keep the ants all together in one room? Oh, yes. And they have a connecting bath. They're very comfortable. You mean you give them a bath? Oh, well, no. They do that themselves. <laughs> of course, the worst thing about them is they're always underfoot. Except at night, of course, when they're sleeping. Wait a minute. Can you tell if they're sleeping? Well, yes. We hear them snoring. Uh, oh, sure. <laughs> On ants. I must have missed a page was about snoring ants. This is going to be a big job. Don't worry about it. Is it too big for us to handle? No, certainly not. Uh, where are your ants now, madam? They're in their room. Uh, Carson, will you show these gentlemen to my aunt's room? Yes, madam. They're in the room. Oh, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Hey, William Tell. All right, now I'll shoot the apple off your head. Nothing doing. I'll shoot the apple off your head. Oh, no, you won't. I'll shoot the apple off your head. Don't be silly. You did it last well, time. Well, you're just you're just in time to play William Tell. Lady, I couldn't play anything. I don't know how to play nothing. I'm William Tell. You're my son. Okay, father, what do you want me to play? Take off. Here. Thank you. Don't forget it. Put it on your head. We are going to shoot the apple off of your head. Bang, 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 bang. Satisfied? You knocked it off. <laughs> why, why, why do all this stuff, girls? Why, uh, why bang, bang like that? Oh, we're so lonesome. Lonesome? We're just a couple of old maids and we're lonesome. Yeah, we're not even permitted to leave the house. They no. think we're too old. You mean that lady down the hall? Uh-huh. They want us outside the house? No. And you never been out? No. Have any fun at all? No. Ah, but I got an idea. I think I know. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. I'll tell you what you do, girls. Go and put on your best. We'll take you out. Oh, I got a lot of lovely clothes I've never had on. Go put them on. Oh, we'll uh, paint the town red. Glory, hallelujah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, I know. Where well, are we going to take them tonight? I know. No, we'll take them out, but we need money. Driveway. Hey, we need money. Yeah. Well, we're here on a job. Let's fumigate the room. Okay. Come on. Go ahead. <laughs> Carson, they've been in there an awfully long time. I hope everything's all right. I sincerely hope so, madam. Well, lady, we took good care of your aunts. We killed them. <laughs> Come on. That's what you wanted, wasn't it? I oh. think I'd better get policemen. Yes, what sir. is this? Police for what? But not to murder them in cold blood. Lady, what do you want us to do? Wait for them to warm up and then let them have it? You're no. going to pay for this. All right, so how much? You're paying with your lives. Now, that's too much. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> We're already going. Oh. Ready and Laren. I'll sell. I'll sell for your lives. You'll bet your life for a lie. Mm. 
Mm. You're siree for the first time in 40 years. Yes, sir. Hey, come hey, on, on girls. Kids. Lady, I think you need a psychiatrist. <laughs> oh, oh, you sent for the cops, lady? Something wrong here? Yes. What? <coughs> oh, so it's you two. I might know wherever you two are, there's some trouble. Where's the corpus delecti? That means bodies. Where are they? Well, what do you think? I'm a corpus delecti? I know it means bodies. If you want the corpus delecti, ties, and that's brawl, they're all over the joint. You gotta get a shovel and shovel them up. Oh, Just oh, a yeah. minute, Sonny. These boys are partners of ours. Hey, <laughs> hey, Sergeant, you don't think you're scared of these kids? Nah. They, they've been playing cowboys and Indians for four hours in the room. She's been an Indian for two hours. Yeah. They were going, bang, bang, bang. <laughs> you thought the word, the guns ain't loaded. Come on, let's go to the Red Dog Saloon. Whoopee! Oh, <laughs> Bang! Come and get me, you ornery sidewinder. <laughs> bang, bang, bang! You can't shoot at me. You're dead. I got you that time. You did nothing of the sort. You missed me. You shot that boulder right over my head there. I did not. I shot you fair and square. You didn't. I did. You did well, not. Well, let me tell you that... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I left the doctor waiting on the telephone. I'll ask him to come here immediately. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I'm so sorry to have kept you waiting, but something terrible has happened. It's my aunt. Oh, it's another job. Good. Oh, what about your aunt, lady? Well, I'm very terribly serious. They seem to have got completely out of control. Oh, oh, oh you don't have to worry about that, because ants are our specialty. We'll decontrol them for you. This woman's having trouble with her ants. We're going to have to make it. 623. Put down the answer. 623. 623. 623. Hot Street. Yeah. What's the street? That's the name of the street. Huh? What's the name of the street you live on? Will you tell me the name of the street, lady? Hot Street? I can't get a headway out of it. Will you look? I got 623. Now, please tell me what's the name of the street. That's right. That's right. <laughs> what's right? I don't know. I'm asking about. Wait a minute. Hold on. Find out what's Wait a minute. Wait. Here, you mark it down. Uh, pardon me, lady. <laughs> He's a little dumb. He don't understand these things. 623. Uh, where do you live, lady? Huh? Well, that's what I'm asking you. What street? That's the name of the street I live on. Mm -hmm. That's the name of the street. What's the name? Oh, what? What? That's what I'm asking you, what? Okay. Look, lady, we got as far as 623. Now, will you please tell us the name of the street? I know what's... <laughs> Look, excuse me, lady, I didn't mean to yell at you. Will you tell me the name of the boulevard that's close to that street? I don't know. You don't know? Huh? She don't know the name of the boulevard. There oh, must be oh, a name to the this boulevard. This must be a Lulu. There must be a name. There's got to be a name. You got a boulevard or some avenue or something right near there. Give me anything you got there. Ask her what is the name of the boulevard. The boulevard. What is the name of the boulevard? You don't know. She don't know. Ask her what no. is the name. I'd what is the name of the boulevard? Uh, what is the name of the street? That's the street. I'm not asking you about the street. Give me the, the, the boulevard near the street. You don't know. How do you expect me to know? She don't know the boulevard. Uh, pardon me. Yes, uh, uh, pardon me, lady. Uh, what is the name of the street? Oh, that's right. Oh, th that's the name. What's the name? That's right. <laughs> Come on. Hey, can you speak straight now? Certainly. You know what street you are? Certainly I do. What's the name of the street? That's right. Come on, let's go. <laughs> that's not Ooh. There's a hot bit of termites. I'm going to... Squire, you want to wake up the dead? Not so loud, not so loud. Inside. What's inside? Somebody in there with no clothes on. Whether it's man or woman. I don't know. Right now, right now. Let me see. It's, it's only a skeleton. Turn my speeders to it. It's a model made of plastic. A model of plastic? Will you stop this playing around and look for those termites? Yes, sir. Uh oh. Oh. Hey, Abbott! I hear one! 
It's a big one. I think it's wearing high heels. <laughs> Termites. How do you do? May I talk to you? How do you sneak in here? You want to talk to me? Yes. Well, make a snappy kid. I'm busy. Well, my sister recommended you. She said that you were one of the finest. Well, your sister's right. I am one of the finest in my line. I'm a specialist. You are? Why, certainly. What can I do for you? Well, I... <laughs> <laughs> my little advice? Well, <laughs> come on, sit over here. I'll talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here, over here. Yeah, yeah. Right down there. Oh, 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 oh. Now, young lady, just tell me what. <laughs> you don't understand. You must be more quiet in my condition. What's wrong? Well, you see, I'm so very happy, and of course, John is very happy. Oh, Abbott's going to be very proud of this job. What's the address? Well, <laughs> What's the address? 6933 Oakhurst. 6933 Oakhurst? Yes. Good. Good. John is so happy. I guess I made him the happiest man in the world. Well, I think we're going to do a good job. I think John's going to be happy. I think you'll be happy, too, because we've got all the equipment and everything else. Certainly. <laughs> well, there are a few things I have to talk to you about. It's, well, it's this appetite of mine. I just can't understand it. Now, early in the morning yesterday, I wanted pickles and strawberries. <laughs> I wanted ice cream smothered with anchovy. That really wasn't so bad, but John just didn't understand when I wanted that catsup on the ice cream that... Come on. Hey, you get the street out? Certainly. You know what street shows are? Certainly I do. Well, what's the name of the street? That's right. Come on, let's go. <laughs> How do you do? Is uh, Miss uh, Featherman in? We're here to take care of her aunt. Oh, how do you do? How do you Won't do? you come in, please? Thank you. If I may say so, aren't they rather odd-appearing doctors? Well, now that you mention Carson, they are indeed. But, of course, they're psychiatrists. And Mrs. Maxwell recommended them very highly. Yes, madam. Well, before you go in, uh, perhaps it would be helpful if I tell you something about my aunt. Yes. Are they the kind that eats uh, sugar and grease? Oh, they eat most anything. Huh? Of course, they dearly love candy. Uh, how long have you had them? Well, we've had them with us about uh, 20 years now. Of course, they weren't bothersome until just recently. You mean you had the ants in the house for 20 years, and all of a sudden right now you want to do something about it? Well, we grew to be quite fond of them. As I said, not until lately were they any trouble at all. Are they all over the house? Well, yes, they go in and out, but mostly they stay in their own room. The you mean you keep the ants all together in one room? Oh, yes. And they have a connecting bath. They're very comfortable. You mean you give them a bath? Oh, well, no. They do that themselves. <laughs> of course, the worst thing about them is they're always underfoot. Except at night, of course, when they're sleeping. Wait a minute. Can you tell if they're sleeping? Well, yes. We hear them snoring. Uh, oh, <laughs> On ants. I must have missed a page was about snoring ants. This is going to be a big job. Don't worry about it. Is it too big for us to handle? No, certainly not. Uh, where are your ants now, madam? They're in their room. Uh, Carson, will you show these gentlemen to my aunt's room? Yes, madam. They're in the room. Well, come on, come on, come on. I think that was looking for ants. Yeah. Let's play William Tell. All right, and I'll shoot the apple off your head. Nothing doing. I'll shoot the apple off your head. Oh, no, you won't. I'll shoot the apple off your head. Don't be silly. You did it last well, time. Well, you're just... <laughs> you're just in time to play William Tell. Lady, I couldn't play anything. I don't know how to play nothing. I'm William Tell. You're my son. Okay, father, what do you want me to play? Take off. Here. Thank you. Don't do that. Put it on your head. We are going to shoot the apple off of your head. Bang, 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 bang. Satisfied? You knocked it off. <laughs> why, why, why do all this stuff, girls? Why, uh, why bang, bang like that? Oh, we're so lonesome. Lonesome? We're just a couple of old maids and we're lonesome. Yeah, we're not even permitted to leave the house. They no. think we're too old. You mean that lady down the hall? Oh. <laughs> Precisely. 
Oh, I left the doctor waiting on the telephone. I'll ask him to come here immediately. Uh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I'm so sorry to have kept you waiting, but something terrible has happened. It's my aunt. Oh, it's another job. Good. What about your aunt, lady? Well, I'm very terribly serious. They seem to have got completely out of control. Oh, oh, oh you don't have to worry about that, because ants are our specialty. We'll decontrol them for you. This woman's have trouble with her ants. We're going to have to make it. 623. Put down the address. 623. 623. 623. What street? Yeah. What's the street? That's the name of the street. Huh? What's the name of the street? You know. Uh, Will you tell me the name of the street, lady? What street? I can't get a headway out of it. Will you look? I got 623. Now please tell me what's the name of the street. That's right. That's right. <laughs> what's right? I don't know. I'm asking her what. Wait a hold on. Find out what's Wait a minute. Wait. Here, you mark it down. Uh, pardon me, lady. <laughs> He's a little dumb. He don't understand these things. 623. Uh, Where do you live, lady? Huh? Well, that's what I'm asking you. What street? That's the name of the street I live on. Mm -hmm. That's the name of the street. What's the name? Oh, what? What? That's what I'm asking you. What? Okay. Look, lady, we got as far as 623. Now, will you please tell us the name of the street? I know what's... <laughs> Look, excuse me, lady. I didn't mean to yell at you. Will you tell me the name of the boulevard that's close to that street? I don't know. You don't know? Huh? She don't know the name of the boulevard. There oh, must be oh, a name to the this boulevard. This must be a Lulu. There must be a name. There's got to be a name. You got a boulevard or some avenue or something right near there. Give me anything you got there. Ask her what is the name of the boulevard. The boulevard. What is the name of the boulevard? You don't know. She don't know. Ask her what is the name. I'd what is the name of the boulevard? Uh, what is the name of the street? That's the street. I'm not asking you about the street. Give me the boulevard near the street. You don't know how you expect me to know. She don't know the boulevard. Uh, uh, pardon me. Yes, uh, uh, pardon me, lady. Uh, what is the name of the street? Oh, that's right. Oh, th that's the name. What's the name? That's right. <laughs> Come on. Hey, you keep the street straightened out? Certainly. You know what street she lives on? Certainly I do. Well, what's the name of the street? That's right. Come on, let's go. <laughs> How do you do? Is uh, Miss uh, Featherton in? We're here to take care of her aunts. Oh, how do you do? How do you Won't do? you come in, please? Thank you. If I may say so, aren't they rather odd-appearing doctors? Well, now that you mention Carson, they are indeed. But, of course, they're psychiatrists. And Mrs. Maxwell recommended them very highly. Yes, madam. Well, before you go in, uh, perhaps it would be helpful if I tell you something about my aunt. Well, yes. Are they the kind that eats uh, sugar and grease? There's a hot bit of termites. I'm gonna. <laughs> Well, you want to wake up the dead? Oh, shh, shh, shh. Not so loud, not so loud. Inside. What's inside? Somebody in there with no clothes on. Whether it's man or woman. I don't know. Oh, right now, right now. Let me... it's, it's only a skeleton. Turn my speeders to it. It's a model made of plastic. A model of plastic? Will you stop this playing around and look for those termites? Yes, sir. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. How do you sneak in here? You want to talk to me? Yes. Well, make a snappy kid. I'm busy. Well, my sister recommended you. She said that you were one of the finest. Well, your sister's right. I am one of the finest in my line. I'm a specialist. You are? Why, well, certainly. What can I do for you? Well, I... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> are you a advice? Well, <laughs> come on. Sit over here. I'll talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sit right down there. Now, young lady. Just tell me what. <laughs> you don't understand. You must be more quiet in my condition. 
What's wrong? Well, you see, I'm so very happy, and of course, John is very happy. Oh, Abbott's going to be very proud of this job. What's the address? Well, <laughs> What's the address? 6933 Oakhurst. 6933 Oakhurst? Yes. Good. Good. John is so happy. I guess I've made him the happiest man in the world. Well, I think we're going to do a good job. I think John's going to be happy. I think he'll be happy, too, because we've got all the equipment and everything else. Certainly. <laughs> well, there are a few things I have to talk to you about. It's, well, it's this appetite of mine. I just can't understand it. Now, early in the morning yesterday, I wanted pickles and strawberries. <laughs> I wanted ice cream smothered with anchovy. <laughs> that really wasn't so bad, but John just didn't understand when I wanted that catsup on the ice cream later at night. Of course. Did you think it would be bad, well? What's the 6933 Oakhurst. 6933 Oakhurst? Yes. Good. Good. John is so happy. I guess I've made him the happiest man in the world. Well, I think we're going to do a good job. I think John's going to be happy. I think he'll be happy, too, because we've got all the equipment and everything else. Certainly. <laughs> well, there are a few things I have to talk to you about. It's, well, it's this appetite of mine. I just can't understand it. Now, early in the morning yesterday, I wanted pickles and strawberries. <laughs> I wanted ice cream smothered with anchovy. That really wasn't so bad, but John just didn't understand when I wanted that catsup on the ice cream later at night. Of course. <laughs> if you think it would be better, I could always have the strawberries and the pickle pickles later in the afternoon, and then early in the morning I could have raw egg. <laughs> Can't you just taste those? Warm milk going down. Oh, it was wonderful. But then I could change and have that peanut butter and chili. <laughs> oh, what did I say that upset him? <laughs> Here you're sleeping. Always sleeping on the job. That's all you ever do. Hey, Abbott. How do you expect to earn money? I feel exactly like you feel. What do you mean? You know when you had that indigestion stuff? So what? I had the same thing about about eating. I feel awful. What are you talking about? This doctor's office. I've got to get an examination. Ah, <laughs> ah! Just as I thought. Listen. Go ahead, listen. What? Well, up there. No, up here! Up here! Oh, stop it. That's a telephone. My heart's going off. I don't want an answer. <laughs> answer the phone. Maybe any for us. I told the landlord in case we had any telephone call to transfer him to this office. Now answer it. Might be another job. <laughs> Hello. Is this Main 22212? No. This is Main 22212. It's a doctor's office. Oh, yes. Yes, that's what I want. This is Mrs. Milo Featherton. I was told to call there at... Oh, just a moment, please. Yes, what is it, Carson? It's your Aunt Sophie and your Aunt Sarah, madam. They're at it again. Oh, dear. Uh, excuse me. Will you hold the wire a minute, please? Yes, ma'am. What are you doing? She told me to hold the wire. Oh. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. Come on, put your hands up, you yellow-bellied critter. I'll let daylight through you. 